The tennis ball in this problem starts from rest and reaches a speed of 73.1 meters per second after being hit by the racket. Part A asks us to find the ball's acceleration. Because the ball's acceleration is constant, we can use the kinematic equations. The first one tells us that the final velocity v equals the initial velocity v0 plus acceleration times time. The ball starts from rest, so v0 is 0. We can solve for the acceleration. It equals the final velocity divided by the time. They give us both of those values. Substitute them and calculate to find the ball's acceleration is 2.44 times 10 to the third meters per second squared. Part B asks us to find the distance the ball travels while it's in contact with the racket. There are several ways to solve this part of the problem. One is shown here. Using this kinematic equation, the change in position, delta x, is the initial velocity times time plus half a t squared. Again, the initial velocity is zero because the ball starts from rest. So the displacement or change in position is half times a multiplied by the time squared. When you calculate, you find this equals 1.10 meters. That's the distance the ball moved while being hit by the racket.